Hi guys, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Today I will be making clam chowder. For my clam chowder, you will need three 6.5 ounce cans of mixed clams drained, but keep the juice because we will use that later. You need one cup of diced onions, one cup of diced celery, two cups of cubed potatoes, one cup of diced carrots. You need half a cup of butter, three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour, one pint of half and half, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, salt and pepper, a little oil, and some water. First thing we're going to do is to turn our eye on medium heat and let our pan come up to temperature. Now that our pan is up to temperature, we will put about two to three tablespoons of oil in our pan. And we will put our celery, our onion, our carrots, and our potatoes in with the oil. And we are going to saute these for roughly two to three minutes just to get a little brown on the outside of them. At this point, you want to put some pepper and some salt on your veggies. And you will mix that up and we will continue browning our vegetables up. Now that we have a little color on our veggies, we are going to add some water. And we are going to cook these vegetables in the water for about 5 to 10 minutes just until the potatoes and carrots are tender. Now that our vegetables are tender, we are going to set them on the back eye and continue making our chowder. To start the next part of our clam chowder, we will put our butter into a heavy pan and we will melt it. Now that our butter is melted, we will add our flour. And we are going to whisk this until it is smooth. Now that our flour and butter is mixed to a smooth consistency we will put our pint of half and half in with the butter and flour and we will whisk this until this becomes smooth and thickened
my chowder got a little thick so I did have to add about a cup of water as you can see it is now thickened and smooth I will add my vegetables into the chowder and I will stir to combine the vegetables into the chowder once my vegetables are incorporated well I will add my clam juice now I will turn this on to medium heat and I want it to simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes at this point we can add some more pepper and salt Now that our clam chowder has simmered for about 15 minutes, we will add our red wine vinegar and stir. You can see how the flour has made the chowder nice and thick. We will let this continue simmering for about five more minutes. Now we will turn our eye off and we will put our clams into the chowder and we will stir this to incorporate the clams we will let it set on the eye for about two minutes with it off so that the clams can warm if you cook the clams they will get tough so you just want to let the chowder warm it up just a little bit now that we have the clams in the chowder it's time to plate next time you have a craving for clam chowder this recipe will hit the spot I guarantee it don't forget to like this video share it with your friends subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have tried this recipe if you like it and what I should cook next thank you